In this lesson, we're going to look at panes and pane tabs, specifically how you can organize your workspace using these important tools. As you can see, the workspace is divided into a number of different panes. We have a big viewport pane here, we have a parameter pane, and here we have a node network pane. Now, if you click on the dividers between here, you can actually resize uh, those panes and organize them the way you want using that. Uh, you can also decide, I'm going to work exclusively in this uh, 3D view here, in which case you can maximize that pane and say, I want to work exclusively in here and not worry about the other panes altogether. But of course, this sort of gets rid of them um, so you can't see them at all. Another option is to actually use this bar to collapse. You see, if we click that little arrow there, we can collapse uh, those two and they're still available for quick access through here. Similarly, we could collapse this here or reveal it there. We can also use this little bar to flip them. For instance, these two here can be flipped by clicking this. If We wanted that network instead. In the default build desktop, as a matter of fact, there's even a hidden tree view right here if you just want to be able to look at your different objects there and that uh, so that you can have desktops where those are hidden uh, and only come up when you need them. Now you can also go in and take a particular pane, this type pane for instance, and we can go up to this little menu here and there's a bunch of options including split top and bottom. But that does create two versions of the same pane. But then what we could do is we could take this and we're going to right click on here and we're going to choose animation editor. And now we've got an animation editor uh, below there. So you can continue to add extra panes easily using this methodology and then resize them accordingly. You can also go in and take this and tear off the tab. So now we have an actual floating version of that tab which you can put on another monitor or, or just have free floating like this. Let's close that. Now all these different tab areas you'll notice that there's more than one tab actually in here. We have things called pane tabs. So you already have an animation editor, you already have a render view, we also have for instance a geometry spreadsheet. So you can add a whole bunch of these all uh, into the same zone and you can actually um, add your own. So for instance we can come into here and say give me a new pane type and give me a render scheduler and that actually gives me information about recent renderings we've done. You can even take this if you want and drag this and say you know what I'd prefer to have this over here uh, instead of over here and then I can go back to my render view there. So you can have a whole number of panes and pane tabs up and active and helping you uh, create things in Houdini.